Hey, welcome to High Pretty Fire. Discussion about the future impact of this week's tech and world news leading towards a singularity. I'm Nathan Warden. I'm Tristan Grace. We had so many takes that failed. Oh, man. It, Irish it accents, bad. British accents. The Queen. <laughs> That's bizarre. Anyway, we've got a lot of good stuff this week. Uh, we're going to go for a bit short. We're going to aim for 20 minutes. So yeah, we're checking the time. time. 25. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, so we've cool, got cool. the time. And uh, yeah, we'll do, do a quick rundown and get into it, I guess. What, what uh, virtual, virtual selves? <laughs> Avatars can actually affect your reality. Your, your real cool. self. Uh, I've got a nano sale. It's just been unfurled in the uh, atmosphere by NASA. A computer that makes humans dance. <laughs> Sweet, that's a computer. Ooh, and this one's fun. Uh, remote controlled drones like UAVs are now being used by police forces. Fun. It's not fun. Oh, no, not really. That's a depressing And it for the thing that we're going to do a, light, a lighthearted thing. Yeah. We're going to talk about, uh, I guess, like what, what would we call it? Like recording yourself and yeah. connecting thoughts and stuff. Something that's going recording. to happen and a, a way that it could come about. Just shooting the shit about an idea that's going to happen. So stay tuned and tell us what you think. Yeah. Cool. Right. Um, what do you want to start? Okay, uh, this is a physical article titled Virtual Self Can Affect Reality Self. Mm -hmm. um, it's basically a university, Stanford University study um, with, yeah, funding, with support from the National Science Foundation. And what they actually showed is uh, your virtual avatar can actually affect the behaviors of you, of yourself. Okay. Um, in the sense that... Uh, you know, you, avatars always tend to be idealized versions. You tend yeah. to you tend to always want to put them, uh, you know, up there as like what yeah. you want to be. But well, actually, a he doesn't explain much of the the way he went about it. But they say here that um, he, he's actually demonstrated that if you increase the height of your avatar by ten centimeters yeah. in the game, you'll actually win a, nego a negotiation, in, like in a real world, say a job or whatever, yeah. compared to if you decrease the height of your avatar. So if you're a dwarf compared to like a yeah. Torrent or something, one of the really yeah. big guys, yeah. It, 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 with your actual avatar. Or another one was, um, uh, he, he used algorithms to age a 20 year old undergraduate avatar, and then I give that undergraduate the opportunity to save money or to spend it frivolously. The undergraduate will put more money into savings as opposed to go out and spend it on party. So if you age the, the avatar of the person, they'll yeah. save more. It, it's that classic it's thing of like, you know, be what cool. you want to be. That yeah. thing, that, and so then if you're forced into that role and you're playing as that role, then you kind of act that way. Yeah, it's it's pretty amazing, and they're also it's doing cool. other things on like fitness, and there was this interesting one which could actually have some kind of pretty cool implications. Um, they took presidential candidates and actually imposed the facial features of the people that were uh, doing the demonstration, the testing on, yeah, into the the, the candidates. Avatar. You oh, know, okay. into the actual presidential candidate. So, say like you got George W. Bush, yeah. and you put some, and they put some of your facial features into George W. Bush. Oh wow! But you couldn't actually recognize it. Like it was so the effect yeah, was so subtle. They make it just similar to and you. And then they, they line up all the presidential candidates, and you always pick the one that looks most similar <laughs> to you, or has all your features. Oh, that's brilliant! It's a very self interested, like subjective I, thing. I but like that they're actually studying this because I've had that inkling for a while. I think I think many people have. I mean. The greatest example is uh, Facebook. I mean, you put right there what you want to portray yeah. to other people. Like, you want to be that type of person on Facebook. Like, and it's a, it's a virtual self that other people really interact with you while you're yeah. asleep. That's yeah, a, that's exactly. a scary thing. It's permanently It's there. you while you're asleep. People are talking back and forth with you. Or, yeah. Or <laughs> it, it's, but, it's, it's who you want to be. Like, I mean, there's tons of pictures of me like dressed up as Santa. You know, in Facebook, because that's the image I want to actually portray out there. I want to be a shill for Coca-Cola and, you know, do it well. What? That's what I want to be I online. All, I think the vast majority of the pictures of me on Facebook are me drunk. Or dressed as Hitler. There were, <laughs> there were three times I dressed as Hitler. As a joke. No. I, I don't need to explain myself. <laughs> Screw you guys. Um, and, and there's like, there's, there's two of us dressed as women. Like we had, True, that's we used to have one. like hot women parties. Not, not regularly, we had one. <laughs> <laughs> Where we'd like get balloons and we'd like put dresses and shit on. It was hilarious. And we'd form in a circle and just feel each other up. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't get girls to come to the party. So this was an easy way. This is back in first year. Just don't judge us, yeah. okay? You, you just, we were the girls. We became the well, girls. Well, that was we it. Were. We got bags full of sand and put them in there and got the wonder bra going. And it's not gay if you don't actually meet the eyes. Like, if you're just doing it from behind, that's why you stood around <laughs> in a circle. <laughs> you reach. Wow. No. Too far. Too far. That's so anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we, did, we just dressed as women as a funny thing. Disregard Tristan's comments. Yeah, what have you got? What's your story? <laughs> oh, I want to talk a little bit I'm, about this. I'm, I'm done. I am done. 
<laughs> okay, fair enough. Story. I, I, I'd like more study to be done on this because I think that yeah. is a massive thing that you can actually change it. Like even looking into, say, like Fable, if you go down the good path or the evil path, that can actually impact, I think, how you look at other situations coming up. Yeah. And it, it goes along that line of gays manipulate how people behave. Yeah. Which is... Yeah, that's good Which fun. is kind of what we, we're trying to get into a little bit. That would be kind of great. Like, I mean, yeah, that's what games can do. They're the perfect thing. Pretty cool. Anyway, I'll uh, get into the next one. I'm still on the happy mood rather than a sad mood, so I won't go into the aerial drone. Uh, NASA <laughs> had <laughs> just <laughs> uh, unfurled a 100 meter space sail. Uh, no, it's 100 square foot solar sail. Sorry. So it's not Yeah, you meter. told me 100 meters. I was I'm like, like that's, that's pretty huge. Very much. Sorry, I'm, you know, like, I always think metric. These stupid Americans with the, you know, bloody imperial system. Yeah. <laughs> it's NASA as well. Like, why is NASA, bastion of science, using metric? Because the American yeah, system is the way of the future. Oh, it's very odd. <laughs> anyway, sorry, I got that wrong. 100 square foot solar cell is actually up there. And they've launched a fantastic new site called nanoscale.org where um, they actually are doing a competition for you to take the best picture of the sail. That's pretty cool. Yeah, with, so you with get a telescope. With the telescope. Yeah, you get your telescope. You actually follow the sail around. You take pictures. They give money to the person who has the best picture. That's pretty awesome. I like it. It's a, it's a cool little sail flying around and stuff. They should, do they have a message on the bottom? I don't know. Pro probably not. If you could have done like a code and you have to text in the code or something. <laughs> it's a QR code. You just put your phone up to it. To the space, yeah. <laughs> So um, I, I don't really know too much about this, but I think it's kind of cool. We're getting more sails up there, more well, different space. Uh, I think Japan was one of the first mm, guys. To you do were that. saying before yeah. they've, they've had a space sail up there for a while because it's, it's a way of um because you can use the solar rays to actually propel. You can get faster. There's been a lot of theories with um, objects blue <laughs> screen again. Again, I have got a format. Just so I'm proving it's not good. I know. Oh, well. Do you remember your stories? Yeah, I do. Okay. Oh, so, um, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, so that's great, great. Not, not too much to just go there, just yeah, just to be aware that there's a flying solar sail around. If you've got a telescope, you want a nice uh, uh, amateur project or something, go and hunt for the solar sail. It'd be great. I if there's I've any, got uh, a telescope down at my farm. I should do it. Down at the farm. Down at the farm. I wonder if there's any uh, private companies doing solar sails. Yeah, I don't like, know. It all seems to be in the government realm at the moment. Well, see, it's still massive R&D, I think. It hasn't really been proved or anything. I think that's what they're trying to find out. Okay. I'm guessing. I, I don't know much about okay. it. Okay. You're, okay, you're gonna love this. I, I shouldn't. I shouldn't have mentioned this. To you you. should. Have. This is like, like twenty great. minutes beforehand. Um, I just. I, I don't even know where I found it. It was either on Hacker News. I love that site, Hacker News. Like, it's starting to like that more than Reddit now. Reddit's just becoming funny cats. It's it's four chan. It's yeah, it's four chan. It's four chan, but with the system. like with the like you know community happiness goodness thing. Yeah. It's still awesome. I still visit. Oh, it's still day. like one of the best sites. Yeah. Just downhill. Anyway, old fogey. <laughs> <Get foul on. laughs> anyway, this this site thing is called Yay TM. I don't know what it is, but it is. Um, <laughs> it's it's a device that basically sits uh, somewhere. I think it's at NYU, New York University. Yeah, um, and it actually does face tracking to measure dancing prowess. And so what it does is it sits there, and it I'm guessing it prompts humans, people to to dance in front of it. If it dances well, if the human dances well, the monkey dances well. Dance, monkey, dance! <laughs> if it dances well, um, using face tracking technology, it, dis it dispenses a dollar. So they get a dollar for dancing well. And if they don't uh, do, uh, if the face tracking says, no, you dance pretty crap, and then they don't get a dollar. Yeah. But in the background, what it's doing the whole time is it's recording it secretly without their knowledge or <laughs> permission or whatever and uploading it to YouTube. Love that. So there's a YouTube so channel much. you can go to and you can see all these, there's, there's, there's tons of them. They're awesome. <laughs> And they're just, it's people dancing. amazing. I love this so much. It's, it's a machine going there and saying, hey, look, we'll give you this tiny little gold coin or like, you know, a bit of paper and <laughs> you dance. <laughs> look at him go. He says, dance, monkey, dance. Yeah. Well, I'd do it for yeah, a dollar. I would so do it for a dollar. It's like a dollar. Like, yes, You'd I'll like, dance. Yeah. And you know what would be great? Make it get into a point where you're actually making the budget back off YouTube and stuff. You can have these kiosks around the whole world. <laughs> I mean, that for everyone uploaded, you get, say, like 100,000 views by people. If you make yeah. more than a dollar in profit... No, it doesn't have to be dancing. either. like, no, do something anything. cool. Yeah, tell us a joke. Base it... Yeah. How you, cool would you that You can be? base it off view numbers. Yeah, well, uh, but you couldn't do it in real time. Yeah, no, real time. But, you, but they'd, like, somehow sign up. Maybe they put their phone number in or something. That could be kind of cool. They enter in their phone number into the system, then do yeah. something, and then it... it you it, you it still need that gambling time. aspect, though, because I, I like the immediate feedback that you either get a dollar <laughs> or you don't. And it's, so, it's, uh, it's like the, the mouse hitting Yeah, you're yeah, hitting the button, then <laughs> you're getting until it. They'll dance till they die, right? Near that <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh, oh I, I love about this as well. You, you don't even have to track anything or even track that. You could just make it a random thing. Like a mouse actually hitting a button and just hoping for it. So people come and stand up and do something funny and you just make it random if they get it. Like maybe one in ten gets it. Oh, okay. 
And they just do funny stuff. Yeah, just do funny stuff, do something. And we can tell them that we're analysing it. Like, these, we don't know the ag- algorithm behind it. It could be totally <laughs> random. I wonder how many penises you then end up getting. Oh, dear. <laughs> It, 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 this system might take chat roulette into the public realm. Why don't we do this online with like a dollar or a PayPal or something? Why, why, why does it have to be constrained in the real world? Why don't we say, dance into your webcam, our algorithm tells us if we like it or not, we'll give you a dollar if we do over PayPal, and uh, we get your video. We need a load of dollars. <laughs> <laughs> we would. But say a thousand dollars, like that's not a lot of money, that's and you get a thousand awesome videos going up, that would go crazy viral. That's pretty cool. It's all right, I like this Don't idea, actually. Idea. Yeah, let us do it first, please. I'll give you a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> I'll leave now. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, it comes down to implementation again. It does. If you've got any cool implementation ideas, like, mm. talk to us. That, that's a cool idea. We it's similar to this other one with uh, chat fame, we're calling it. Yeah. Won't tell you too much more about that. But it's, but it's another cool it's one. An awesome one. We tried the million monkeys on a million typewriters, didn't return that much. Yeah. It's got Twilight. And then we ended up with a million monkeys and we didn't know what to do with them. So we just shot them all. Yeah. And then played with their feces. Toss the poo. <laughs> I'm not in a serious mood tonight. No. <laughs> anyway. I think this story did it. Yeah. Dance, monkey, dance. Indeed. Um, so anyway, this will, your, your this will make us yeah, kind of serious. Because this is uh, kind of bad, really. Oh, what are um, you on this one? Well, I'm sorry. That's the way it's going to go. Uh, this story, it's kind of major. Our police forces now have uh, been using uh, un, uh, UAVs to actually start tracking and doing surveillance and stuff. They've got a, a link to it. It was in Austin. The, the story was based around, but a, a lot of the cities in the U.S. have actually got police stations using these little. Think about like you know, kids remote control airplanes. It's pretty much them, but just a little bit more advanced with the camera. Airplanes or helicopters? Airplanes, right. and they're silent. You can't really see them. They're they're about the size of a bird. They said like it looked about that big or so. <laughs> they look like a bird. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they weren't <laughs> even that big. But um, they they did it in like the, in Austin. They were trying to um, take down this uh, guy who had lots of rifles inside of a house, and so they launched this thing and he just flew it around and had perpetual surveillance on him. And he didn't even know it was being surveyed, like because it was so quiet and silent. So uh, that, that that makes like on, makes on one on one side I'm like that's oh damn they oh it's so <laughs> yeah, bad. Yeah. But on the other side it's like well that was inevitable anyway. It is. Well, that, that's I mean, it's always been that way, but because like from one side I think that would actually help police actually surveil situations yeah. in real time and you know stop violent yeah. crime and all that stuff. But on the other end it's like uh, surveillance, you know, police yeah. state. Yeah. Controlling everything, you know, monitoring everything. It's a slippery slope argument, which no, they're not the best arguments, but it is the same way that, I mean, soon every police station will have it. There's no reason why they won't. I mean, I well, can't see, think of a logical the, reason why they won't. Well, what and, they need to do with this system, like, the system's inevitable. Hmm. We've even been talking about ideas of where cities are just blanketed in UAVs. Yeah. And you could have, like, say, real time maps, like, real time yeah, Google Maps. Like, really I want to go see probably. what's there. Yeah. And networks and the internet and stuff. But I think the good way to actually decentralize all that is. Dude, sorry. The good way to secure all that is to decentralize it all. <laughs> right. Um, like, because imagine if uh, all those UAVs were actually made completely open. So, say that the Austin police were actually flying that thing around now, I could yep. go onto a website and yeah. see exactly what that thing's seeing right now. Any of the UAVs. That would be perfect. That like would complete transparency. Everyone. Yeah. yeah. That and would and be completely fine. recorded, completely uploaded, so you can see that on this day at this time, here's what this camera saw, here's yeah. what they're doing. Yeah, make it totally open. Yeah. That would That's... that would get rid of all privacy concerns. I'd like to still be there, but yeah. at least anyone can That's... see it at any point. Then it's like we know it's not being abused that much. Yeah. It's like the real time, real time, yeah. real time, real time wiki links <laughs> yeah, to uh, UAVs. Yeah, that's it. And that's how, like, that's how you disarm it. That's how you make it, it, you get the technology to actually apply a decent good to society. Yeah. And at the same time, it, it's difficult for it to be abused. Like, yeah. it still, it could still be. They could say, you know, don't upload this. Yeah. Don't upload this UAV. We'll just keep this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But this well, one won't give happen, but... but- well, it's a, I, be, I guess the best analogy is towards um, Google Maps and the satellite viewing and stuff. Yeah. And I mean, that allowed anyone to view great. anywhere, anytime. Like before the idea, like, you know, Cold War and stuff, I'm just guessing that people are like, a bit nervous saying that, oh my God, they've got a big space telescope to spy on me and I'll never know if they're looking at my house and stuff. Yeah. Whereas now, you're always being perpetually looked at by your house. Like you, people zoom in on their house for fun. I bet everybody yeah. who's watching this has zoomed into their house on Google Maps. I'd put money on that. And like, that's that's a, another brief thing. Um, you know how we always say that uh, like Facebook privacy is such a big concern they're always watching us keeping mm-hmm. an eye on us but then like you go into any single shop anywhere or even down in public and CCTV is the standard there's cameras everywhere there's cameras yeah, everywhere and people don't notice them they're not, no. they even care they just they walk around it's like oh whatever that's, yeah. that's for security but yeah, those, you expect it it's being recorded and put on servers and watched later on by it'd be good if it was open though like I, I like that thing that I mean I, I'm very much towards that openness thing I think that would yeah. disarm nearly everything it's I guess the, the issue that I have mainly with it is that I don't know what's there or, or it's more that uh, that 
people are doing it without my able to look and see what they have or something. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's not it's a logical fear, really, I guess. Yeah. Well, um, singularity topic, Speaking this kind of leads into it. <laughs> another, another good thing where, like, oh, this would be great if we recorded everything, say, like, <laughs> recorded all our lives, all our thoughts, all our behaviours, just mm -hmm. everything we did, but then, of course, on the other side, that could be manipulated and abused and whatever. Yeah. So like my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Uh, <laughs> yeah, singularity, Tommy, is just a, oh, <laughs> just a way that a, well, an, an idea, an, an inevitable uh, idea is that we're going to actually be able to track more of like a, a hive mind type thing saying how you came up with a thought. Yeah. How, how you, um, why you're thinking that at this point and say, if, if you could actually start recording your thoughts and ideas in a structured way so you could actually look back and say, oh, I think this because I think this and because I think this because yeah. I think this. But in a fun way, like everyone's always mm. talking about life logging at the moment, but it's boring. It, like, yeah, it's, it's not going to happen. You're not going to be like, I did this today or... You need to be prompted. But we, we are in to... Facebook. Like, I mean, the idea of like, you know, blogging or even way before blogging, like, you know, people recording their lives, that was always happening. But it never really, I'd say, reached yeah. mainstream. That like blogging, maybe the, a tiny bit, I wouldn't say blogging was even mainstream recording your life. Yep. I think Facebook and Twitter, mainly Facebook, was uh, actually recording your life. But that was only just the beginning, I think. That, that's not showing how you, how you think. We're not, you're not recording your thoughts so much. Yeah, well, that's the structure of your brain. That's the thing we've, we've hated so far. Is like mm. Facebook isn't really the culture to put out interesting thoughts. It's the yeah. culture because it is very socially dominated. It's socially prompted as well. Like the reason you go on there and post stuff is, you know, at an unconscious level, you want to, it's a social status battle. Yeah. There. You're like, you want to be seen as like the fun going guy yeah. that everyone's friends with and yeah, 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 yeah. But it's all a... It's all a farce. It's all so that's what your Facebook profile page is built around. I'm just guessing. No, no, it isn't. Mine, <laughs> mine. Seriously, you look at you look at the stuff I post on Facebook. I am completely alienated. I've been told by people that they block me on Facebook because I post all these thoughts about you know the singularity and technology and the future. Pictures of you as Hitler. <laughs> no, that's a body. That's different. Okay. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> I don't know. You, uh, you're you can't argue against me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I know what you mean. Know that yeah. yeah, it's not the right yeah. culture. <laughs> but there's so many sites out there, like you know, sharing little bits about what you're thinking, what you're doing right now. But it's more the, the idea of ordering that or putting that in kind of a way, yeah, that, structuring it. Yeah, that we, like even our uh, Reddit now and 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 Quora, like all the sites, you can go back through and see your complete history. Yeah, but it doesn't mean anything because no. you don't know. You if you go back, say, go to your Facebook history or whatever site you've been on for a long time, and go back, say, like a year ago, and read a comment. It might be a cool comment, but you won't have any idea of what the context was, yeah. or what prompted that, or where that idea came from, or where that idea then went to. Yeah, but yeah, that's it. So you can't, you can't watch the evolution of your thoughts and there in real time. But so I'd probably say Reddit would be the greatest example of this because you're actually participating in discussions. You can go back through your history and things. Yeah. But even just reading through your profile and stuff, it's not, it's not the the greatest thing. You're not actually growing it for that purpose. But if you actually started commenting and actually started writing your thoughts and ideas and what you're thinking in a, in a structured way to actually uh, understand where you could go next or what new thoughts you could actually have from yeah. the previous ones, that could be kind of a really great thing. And this kind of links in with the whole avatar thing as well. Like I've heard of a lot of people in particularly organizations um, wanting to actually work out ways to uh, extract all the intrinsic knowledge all the, all, in an individual. Yeah, yeah. Because there's so much, like, organizations are just individuals with intrinsic knowledge. Mm. With their, like, you know, all they have written down is their stupid policies and stuff. Yeah, exactly. And their goals. They but all, the, all the knowledge, the stuff that actually makes them run, is tied up in individuals' heads. Yeah. So the idea is, like, trying to prompt an avatar to get that out of you. And even yeah. outside an organization, like, if you could, if, I, if as I'm starting to, you know, write things into this system, it starts recommending me more stuff because it can see the path I'm going down. It can be like, hey, awesome. it can start directing you. That's the recommendation engine idea. Of course, yeah. That's the that's the and that'll be the other direct you. Well, that that's the perfect example because I, I don't think we we're really getting across the idea before. But the, the corporation and and actually the recommendation engine of where you want to go next. Say you want to yeah. learn a skill, like say maths and stuff. You start doing some things, you get it coming back. Or you want to learn about a topic, say like you know astronomy and stuff. You start yeah. writing some stuff. Says, oh look at this and do some feedback there and, and then of course writing the corporate. Yeah. Like, and this, this applies knowledge. to everything, not just corporate education is another oh, major it'll factor. It'll be brilliant because you have everything that they've recorded in this system and you yeah. can actually see and start analyzing it and draw connections because yeah. that's the problem. There's no connections. Yeah, that's between. the other thing we would like. What's, what's a good platform for actually connecting thoughts and ideas together in that way mm. that you can actually play through and be like, 
I, I got this idea from here, which then formed with this idea, which then I used that to create this idea. It's like a fractal tree in a sense. It starts yeah. here, spreads out, and then spreads out and spreads out, and then some of them join together. And But what? there's no platform like that. No, that so would be great to actually try and work out. If you but have what, any ideas, that. The other awesome. idea as well to actually consider is the, the other big thing we're considering is not just for the individual, but for, say, a collective. collective yeah. So you could actually look and see that, oh, okay, that uh, a lot of people have been having this thought strongly this week, and then a lot of people from that thought, they're going to this thought strongly, and so then the connection yeah. between them becomes very strong, and it might actually be even easier to do it as a large group of people first, and then move on to the individual. Back, yeah. Yeah, because then the, the flow, individual's the profile. Beams, yeah, I that's guess. it. The flow yeah. of, as people start talking about different topics, that creates, like, you know, a big map and everything, and shows how the connections between them are stronger and yeah you know because a, a more way to formalize everything that you're sharing with the machine because we're, we're sharing with machines fine like we're sharing with the net all the time facebook reddit twitter quora yeah. anything and but now let's structure it let's actually start using that in a specific way well, another cool thing would be to go back through all that data and actually run a run an algorithm on it and actually structure it in that way like we've always been saying that these these things um these these videos we're doing high forty five be great for something to go back through um, transcribe them all and actually yeah, yeah. show us the flow of our ideas because yeah. each episode if you go back to episode one our ideas are pretty eh, yeah pretty, pretty basic shocking things, like, mm. and then they then we're, we're on the line the lines of the moment where we think they peak somewhere about like you know <laughs> about probably twenty to forty and now they're kind of like because we haven't had too much more external ideas. Um, I don't know. I think more. they're still evolving through there. It's going up, but there's, there's a lot of ideas that are dying off because there's been... It's hard to come up with new topics. Yeah, like, like you, ex you exhaust your ideas. You need more external influences, more external ideas. Well, that's why it's good having the stories, actually, like, you know, yeah. like keys and stuff. And any, any comments that's, or anything... That's like why saying, we keep asking you guys for ideas, like... Cause it'd be great to force it out there. It'd be great. Like, we're also thinking of, um, like, putting up our webcams in our, yeah, our office that, kind of see. area just to record everything, like, just set up to record throughout the entire day with video, basic video and audio, so we can just store that in the server, and then the, then the problem is there's no, yeah. we're, we're never going to go back through and look at them unless... No, well, you, need a you need a machine to do it, you need a computer. Yeah, unless it goes back through and... Eventually it'll it. be there, though. I'm sure Google in the next few years yeah. will release whatever they've got for, like, YouTube when it actually becomes good text-to-speech yeah. and stuff. Actually, there was this um, other article that I was going to mention oh, yeah. down there. Um, they recently showed that uh, they did an analysis of, of neurons, and they yeah. showed that the data loss on neurons is one bit per second per neuron. Wow. Which is That's very quite high. a lot, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, they were saying it was very high. So um, it was saying that when you get external stimuli, you're only getting brief snapshots of the world. Because oh, right. okay. yeah, because, yeah, gotcha. the, the, because the neurons are losing um, all the data retention in like the connectome, whatever you want to call that, like as it retains knowledge. Yeah, <laughs> the connectome, I like the connectome. Well, that's what the people are calling. Oh, okay. Um, it, it, it loses like one bit per second per neuron, which is quite that's a lot a of lot. information. Like, there's a lot of neurons. And this is why recording everything is kind of a good idea. I'd like to, yeah. Because my memory sucks balls. Yeah, I, I let Google shocking. remember for me. Sorry, that's not a yeah. good thing. <laughs> or Facebook. Yeah, well, if, if one thing I could, could recommend more than anything, and I really love this idea that we've got to get these cameras up here pretty soon. Yep. But yeah, just start recording everything about your life because uh, soon we'll be able to search through it, soon you'll be able to see everything in your life, and soon there'll be a system where you can actually put that data into a structure to actually see who you are and what you've been. Because we've already missed out on, say, let's, you know, over 20 years everything. worth of stuff. Yeah, and yep. uh, we, we, that'll, that'll totally lost forever. Yeah, I don't remember most of my life. Yeah which is sad. I'd, I'd love for like, you know, a new kid coming in just permanently record them and stuff. I'm yeah. sure I'd be molested at parks and just like driven out of the town, but if I did it the right way with the right camera. Just tag them. Yeah. <laughs> Kitty tags. Yeah. Just, just go into hospitals and as they're born in the, in the baby, just like, just I, inject I them with so RFIDs and just like, you know, monitor all their yeah, vibrations yeah. so they can actually, you know, monitor all the GPS location and sound and, <laughs> and electrical activity. Yeah. Well, I swear, as soon as I have a kid and he's like old enough to like go somewhere else, giving him a phone and having latitude running non-stop, <laughs> never not going to know where you are. Yeah. Or whatever it is. Dog anyway. tags. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> anyway, this has been another episode of High 45 for the week. Uh, I am Tristan Gray. I am Nathan Waters. <laughs> and we will see you. On the next side. <laughs> next time! <laughs> wow. Oh. There. <laughs> Hello! And welcome to High 45! A discussion about the future of yes. the this week's tech and world news I'll leading towards the singularity. That's good. I'm going with that. that again. I'm going with that. No, we're going with that. Again. Let's go with that. Hello! Hello! And welcome to High 45! A discussion about the future of <laughs> <laughs> Well, this week's Jackie Brown, you're <laughs> 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 <laughs>
sounded like his English and then went to Irish. <laughs> Oh no! Little leprechaun. Okay, go on. Let's go again. Okay, ready? Hi, and welcome to High Body Vibe. Discussion about the future <laughs> impact this week's tech and world news leading to all the singularity. My name's Tristan Grace. <laughs> 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 the awkward pause. <laughs>